Yeah, because you know the the thing is that we're talking a lot. I would I would suggest, um, you know, you with your chucker wellness, you you dealing with polo players that play sort of four or five days a week, so that that becomes a discipline in itself. But there are the majority of polo players are the ones that are sitting behind a desk every day and get to play twice a week, you know, yeah. and get mind twice a week. So what are we doing in the week? that keeps us strong enough to be able to go and play two days of chuckers and still actually maintain a reasonable physical fitness on the horse over the weekend because we haven't had that chance. And that that's the kind of thing I think would be so interesting for the majority of polo players out there who are working and playing part time. Yes. Yeah. And that's actually what, why I designed this membership hub was that people can just log in log out um whenever they can and those those workouts are 20 30 minutes max so i suggest just doing just putting 20 30 minutes aside uh three four times a week if you can um and you just focus on the functional stuff you do some cardio um and lots of stretching lots of uh, mobilizing as well because like you said if you're stuck at a desk all day rounded shoulders not engaging your core your hamstrings are tight you haven't activated your glutes all week and then you drive get on the horse without warming up and then you wake up Sunday morning or Monday morning a bit like a robot like oh my gosh then you're back down sitting down so a lot of it's stretching it's preparing the body for action on the day it's lots of stretching lots of recovery work and then yeah three four times a week I'd focus on more functional and resistance uh, based workouts um, but yeah like I said they don't have to be hours long um, and they don't have to be hardcore either. People always associate fitness and gym work with, you know, ending the session on the floor. It's definitely not like that at all. You know, on a Monday, I'll do more stability work and muscle engaging. So I'm not even sweating, but I'm just waking everything up and making sure it's all balanced. And then Tuesday, I'll do like a run and then some resistance stuff. Wednesday, I may just go down and do some Pilates and core work. Thursday, I'll do a heavy resistance. So, you know, each day is completely different. And, you know, half of those ex uh, workouts, I'll be lying on the floor afterwards but you know, i don't you don't have to do that to um reduce muscle soreness and um mega fit for the weekend